welcome back to the channel. So today we are continuing with the aero upgrades for the Shelby GT350 and I couldn't be more excited because today we are finally going to be installing the missing piece that's going to balance everything out from what we installed previously. In case you missed that video, let me show you what was installed. So we installed the front splitter along with the canards and the support rods. And in that video, I asked you guys if you can guess what the next part that I would be installing. So I would say that a lot of you guessed it right. Some of you said that I would be installing a rear diffuser, which is correct, but I won't be installing that in this video. I will be installing that later on. Now the rest of you got it right. I said that I would be installing a larger spoiler or a bigger wing. And yes, you are right on the dot. Now how big is it going to be? Let me show you. So this is the larger spoiler or the bigger wing here, and it's from none other than APR Performance. I cannot wait to have this installed on the car so this is the GT250 wing and it's 71 inches so here it is and it comes with all of the hardware here now let's go ahead and get this unpacked so here's the big wing here now that we opened it <laughs> and honestly I'm getting even more excited now that I open it and I'm looking at it <laughs> I just can't wait to have this on. So this is carbon fiber. I'm not sure if you guys can tell here with the pattern with the weave. So this is pretty lightweight. And once again, since this is by APR Performance, the quality is just superb. So here we have the brackets and also more hardware that we need to install this wing along with the instructions. Now, I already saw plenty of videos on the installation of this. And honestly, it's not too bad. It's pretty much straightforward. But the first thing that we need to do is remove this wing that I have now. So this is my R-Rep spoiler wing. And I absolutely love it. I remember remember like it was yesterday when I was installing this so this is pretty much still in great condition I haven't had any issues with it but honestly as much as I love this I love that one even more and I cannot wait to see that one here in my car so in order to remove this we need to open up the trunk and then get rid of this center part so this has a whole bunch of clips and grommets that we need to remove I mean it's pretty much straightforward so let's go ahead and get started with that oh and by the way because I know you guys are gonna ask I know some of you were wondering if I was going to be covering up the holes with this wing unfortunately not that I'm actually going to be making more holes <laughs> there's gonna be more holes in the trunk that are going to be exposed but honestly I really don't have a problem with that because I do plan on getting another trunk once I get the hood in the future so I'm not worried about that now and then once again this car is mostly used for the track and then when it's not uh, it is stored in the garage and it barely rains in Arizona so I mean it doesn't really bother me too much I know that I'll eventually get those taken care of but let's go ahead and get started with that Okay, so that R-Rep spoiler is now off of the car and then this is how the trunk looks. So yes, there's even more holes exposed and unfortunately, I will be having to make even more holes because these just don't align with the APR wing. So the first step in order to getting that wing installed is basically getting these plates and then just set one on the left side, one on the right side. I need to make sure that they're aligned properly and also spaced out evenly. I believe they have to be 44 inches spaced apart. And then once again, I will have to drilling these holes here so three on each side so on the left side and on the right side once we're done with drilling the holes here then we can go ahead and move on to assembling the pedestal which are these right here so let's go ahead and take care of that first So aligning these bases was not hard at all. It was pretty easy and it was mainly for one reason. It's because of this hole right here. So both here on the left and on the right side, these holes are from the original track pack spoiler that the GT350 comes with. So I got lucky that I already had these holes here and it's mainly because I'm still using my same trunk. The APR instructions do call for you to make a hole and that's usually in the case that you have a new trunk. So then you have to make that hole, which I will be doing in the future. But either way, so what I did was I just placed the bolt into this hole and then that just allowed me to hold this base in place and then I just placed tape over it not too tight just because I needed to make sure that these were properly aligned and spaced out evenly so they both have to be 44 inches apart from 
this first hole to this first hole right here and then from this bottom hole to this bottom hole right here so just having this bolt and that tape allowed me to easily pivot the base whenever I needed to adjust it but now that they're perfectly aligned and spaced I did go ahead and mark inside the holes so the next step now is to actually drill for these holes but let's get to that Now that I finished drilling the holes, I just wanted to show you how they look. So these are it right here, these two, and then this is how they look in the back. And then this hole right here, that one right there, so that's the main bolt that I was talking to you about, about the track boiler. So I mean, it is a little bit bigger than these two here, but I mean, it worked, and I mean, it was already there. So these, I used a quarter inch drill bit to drill. So this is how they are. And I know that some of you do comment and tell me, man, are you scared of actually drilling into your car? Because I am, like, I would never do that. And to tell you the truth, Truth, I actually am a little bit afraid whenever I drill into the car not because I'm actually scared of drilling into the car But just I'm, I'm just a little bit scared of actually messing up luckily until this day It hasn't happened. So let's hope <laughs> that that keeps going But let me show you what we need to do next So after that we need ha we need to put these mounting plates back on the car And then I do need to assemble these pedestals with these studs But before we do that I do need to get these bases right here that have these spacers So what these are going to do well, these are actually going to go in here so inside the trunk one there and then one over here and then this space is actually going to be right here for this main bolt there that i showed you guys and then this is just going to serve as some support then here at the end there's going to be a washer so then once we have that here then we can actually put these mounting plates with the bolt that's going to go through the spacer. Then after that, we can put the pedestals on the mounting brackets. Then we can actually bolt everything down. And then after that, we can actually get started with placing the wing, which is what I'm looking forward to. So let's keep going. It's finally done. We have the large spoiler or the big wing installed on the GT350. Look at this, guys. Before I show you more, I already know that some are bound to say this. You ruined the GT350. I don't like it. It looks ugly. What have you done? I would never do that. And you know, that's fine. That's perfectly fine because this is how race cars look. And I absolutely love the look. It's functional. It's aggressive. And I mean, it's on me. But now let me show you a little bit more up close. So. One thing that I did forget to tell you guys that the last step was actually adding these side plates and it was pretty easy. It just, has, it just has two bolts here. And also this spoiler is adjustable. So as you can see here, you can actually adjust it. And then how you would do that is just actually loosening up these two bolts and then just adjusting it. For now, I have it in this setting. I mean, no reason in particular. Once I take it to the track, then I will adjust it accordingly. But I mean, 
for me to go to just CVS because I'm just gonna be driving normal on the road. I don't really need downforce. <laughs> so this is fine like that. And before I had added these side plates, I was looking at it and I was like, mm, I'm not really feeling it. But once I added them, I was like, wow, that looks so good. It really just ties it in together with the canards and the front splitter. It just balances everything out. And I know something else that you guys are gonna ask <laughs> because I often get this is the trunk and the holes in the trunk. So yes, these holes are still there. I know some of you were asked if this new spoiler was actually going to cover these holes in the trunk. And no, they're still here and actually funny thing is is that we have three more holes exposed on each side so that's there and here but honestly it doesn't really bother me because like I mentioned before I do plan on getting a trunk I'm looking into getting carbon fiber trunk but I'm not sure that's gonna happen just because I'm actually working with the vendor to find out if the carbon fiber trunk is actually going to be able to withhold all the stress that this big wing is gonna produce so hopefully I really do want it if not I'll just end up getting another trunk but that'll be way later on before I do that I'm actually going to focus on the hood first so that's going to be the next thing I'm gonna get a carbon hood and then after that I can focus on the trunk and yeah another thing that you guys said is a rear diffuser I do plan on getting that as well I mean I have a lot of things that I still need to do to the car but I mean I absolutely love how it's finally turning out I still have a few more things with my entire vision of what I had for this car initially but I mean I absolutely love it and yes I will be taking it to the track because a lot of you were like are you gonna be taking it to the track trying it out and just letting us know how it feels yes as soon as there's a track event I will be taking it I mean I'm also very curious and anxious to drive it to see how it performs how it handles now with more arrows so I will be giving you feedback on that but I mean that's it this install was pretty much very easy you just have to be very careful because you do have to drill the holes but I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one Oh